Okay, so let's say you have a Tomos A3 moped, and this would actually probably work on the A35s or the A55. As you can see, I'm actually in the middle of a overhauling project here. But let's say you just took this cover off, you messed with your points, you got everything, your gaps set, everything the way that you want, and you're wanting to test for spark. Well, a lot of times, you know, you have it on the bike and you're sitting there turning the cranks as fast as you can. Somebody's got to sit here and hold the plug on the head or somewhere that's a good ground and see if you got a spark. And, and if you don't have it on, it'll sit here and wiggle around. It's a pain in the ass. So I actually came up with something that's pretty interesting. Um, I believe this is the right socket still. Yes, 17 millimeter for the A3 flywheel bolt. But you go to Harper Freight and pick yourself up. I think I think I paid maybe like a couple of bucks for this. And this little four-piece socket adapter set. Socket adapter set. I cannot talk today. And it comes with all these different size little drives. As you can see, these are this is the only one left on here. But what you can do is you can take your half-inch drive socket and you can kind of adapt it down to an eight to the quarter inch drive extension and if you've got an extra one uh, like I did you can do this or you can just buy yourself an extra one I'm, I don't know how much they are they're probably pretty cheap but you cut off this portion that would normally be on the end kind of like this if this was like extended you cut that fat portion off because it won't chuck into your drill very easily if you have that on the end so you cut that off um, you can use like a Dremel cutoff wheel and kind of file it up, make sure it's not sharp or anything. And so it just basically assembles like so. So then you can come over here to your drill. Let's see if you can do this. And it allows you to chuck. Let me get it wide enough here. It allows you to chuck a socket into your just your standard drill. And this would actually work with even a quarter inch socket if that's what you needed up to the half inch or you could get another adapter and make it even larger because it just kind of basically builds on the size here as you can see. So you can take this and you can set it to the direction in which your crank turns which on the A3 is counterclockwise or anti-clockwise and you basically just put it on the nut and you spin the crank. And you can do this as fast as you need to. And that is like the best way to test for spark because as you're spinning that around, as you well know, a magnet spinning around a coil generates electricity. However, this has to spin around at a certain rate of speed before you get any noticeable voltage to come out of these wires. So if you're turning it really, really slowly, you're not going to notice a spark whenever you hold it up to the head or wherever is a good spot for you. So by doing this, it allows you to do it by yourself. It's very easy, very inexpensive. And you can just sit here and spin it around as fast as you need to. And with your other hand, you can hold the spark plug yourself. So hopefully, for anybody out there who's got one of these engines, is working on a remodeling project, anything like that, um, makes it a lot easier for them. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Uh, please subscribe to my channel, that would be awesome. And thanks for watching.